Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jeff from Shop on the Point and Dead on Day Productions bringing you a, another Touch Em All video here. And I know this happened a couple of, these two things happened a couple days ago, but I wanted to get my thoughts out on these two subjects here. The first one being that the Minnesota Twins fired their general manager, Terry Ryan, at, in the middle of his fifth season of his second stint being general manager of the Minnesota Twins. He stepped down in 2007, but uh, returned in 2011. And, you know, this, this really isn't that surprising. I mean, the Twins are just flat-out awful. They're 34-59, and 59, second worst record in the league. And it's relatively the same team last year, a team that finished with 83 wins, I believe, last year. And uh, they, it, it seems like they overachieved a lot. And when you overachieve like that, everybody gets excited. You're like, oh, next year's going to be the year. And that just never happened. You know, like I said, it's it's relatively the same team. It's relatively the same team. And the fact of the matter is that they are just, they don't hit. They don't hit. And their pitching is, just, their, especially their starting pitching, is just abysmal. It's just abysmal. I mean, you go to hitting here. I mean, Eduardo Nunez leads the team with a 312 average. Kurt Suzuki's got a 289. Uh, Robbie Grossman's got a 282, but then after that it drops off. Joe Maurer got off to a real hot start. It seemed like he was having a huge comeback here. His average is now down to 268. Miguel Sano is only hitting 243. He's got 14 bombs, but his on base is only 345. And this is a guy who finished third in Rookie of the Year voting last year for the American League. Brian Dozier is only hitting 247. He's got 16 bombs, but these, these guys just aren't getting the timely hitting that they need, and it seems like they really missed Torrey Hunter in that clubhouse. It seems like when he came in last year, and I know the, I know the sabermetricians hate the hate the chemistry, the intangible chemistry step, but you know that really is something, man. Torrey Hunter brought something to that team that's just lacking this year. It seems like he came in last year, showed them how to play, how to play as a team, and that's just. Uh, that's lacking this year, plain and simple. They just aren't getting the timely hitting done. And, again, going back to their starting pitching, it is just absolutely abysmal. I mean, you can go from Nolasco to Gibson to May to, to Duffy. I mean, Phil Hughes, all these guys' ERA, they're in the mid-fives. So, I mean, again, they overachieved last year, and people got excited. And then when you go to the second-worst record in the league the next year, Someone's got to take the fall for it, and it seems like a lot of these contracts that Terry Ryan uh, uh, signed these guys to just aren't working out. The Nolasco thing hasn't really been working out. The Phil Hughes thing hasn't been really working out. The Byung Ho Park thing uh, that's been well, it's been uh, it's been pretty much a disaster, really. He's hitting 191, so I mean, a lot of these contracts really haven't worked out. Even uh, even Irvin Santa. Uh, Urban Santana, I mean, he's got an ERA in the fours, I believe. It's just, uh, it's just not good. It's just really is not good. Yeah, Santana's only three and eight with a 4.12 ERA, so not really surprising. Twins again, worst record in the league, and uh, someone had to take the fall for it. Plus, you had Glenn Perkins, who's out for the year, All Star closer last year. He was done. He didn't really pitch at all this year, so I mean, it's just kind of a, a lost season for the Twins, basically. And now this next subject here, and uh, the, obviously this one being a little closer to me because I am a Cardinal fan. Former St. Louis Cardinal scouting director Chris Correa was sentenced to 46 months in, months in prison for hacking into the Houston Astros database. Now this guy was hired by Jeff Lunau, who's now the GM of the Astros, and you know it, it was reported like. Correa hacked into the Astros database about 60 times. I mean, this happened repeatedly, too. It was on specific dates, too, like the trade deadline and draft day, so they could really see what the Astros were doing. And obviously, you got to like what Lou now has done in Houston, getting guys like Springer, Correa, uh, Altuve, guys like that. And Correa was trying to pick the bones of uh, Jeff Lou now, uh, pretty much plain and simple. Now, they only charged Correa with uh, Correa with this, but Correa did inform the federal, the FBI that you know he did speak to uh, his colleagues. Now he didn't specify cardinal colleagues; he specified colleagues. So he could have been talking to anybody in Major League Baseball. But yeah, 46 months in prison. I mean, they smacked the hammer down hard on him, and it could have been a full five years for Correa in prison. And you know. 
even though the federal investigation is over, the MLB investigation is not. And Rob Manfred, to maintain credibility, you know, hear, hear everything about, you know, the cardinal way, how great the organization it, it is, and it is. But Correa here just really severely just jeopardized the, the very near future for the St. Louis Cardinals. That's why the Cardinals went, were very uh, prolific in the international, uh, international draft, that sort of stuff. They got a lot of young pieces in this year's draft, so they're really trying to get as much as they can because a, a huge penalty is coming. And I think Man, uh, Manfred has to set an example with the Cardinals, especially with the with the Cardinals and an owner like Bill Dewitt, who's so respected in Major League Baseball. I think he's going to have to be even more harsh on Dewitt just to set an example for everybody else, saying, "Hey, this is not okay." So. You know, we'll just have to we'll just have to wait and see uh, what the penalty is for the Cardinals. What do you guys think? I mean, are they going to lose draft picks to the Astros? Which obviously, I think that's going to happen. They're going to have to pay a hefty fine. And by the way, Correa's also got to pay like a two hundred eighty something thousand dollar fine as well. And uh, so it should be interesting to see where this goes. A huge penalty is coming for the Cardinals. So I think it was a good move, being very prolific in the international signing stuff like that getting as many people as they can in the organization because a penalty is coming and it's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty harsh I believe but anyway that's pretty much it for me guys be sure to check out shop from the point dead today at 2 30 at 3 30 eastern standard time I always can do that I always do that oh my god I'm awful at everything that I do also, I'm gonna, as you can see, I'm in my gym attire here, so I'm getting ready to go uh, pump some iron and uh, get ready for a post-workout stream a little bit later today. Just keep an eye on my Twitter, at GrandSlam87, for when that'll be. Uh, and, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Also, check out Dead on Dave over at Dead on Dave Productions. And, uh, you know, check out my new series that I started yesterday where I'm uh, help, I'm ch helping you guys. I'm showing you guys what I do in my workouts, what's really been working for me and the transformation that I've gone under. And I want to help bring that to you guys. And plus, there's a little link in the, there's a little link on my channel and in the description below, I believe, of, uh, of some of the stuff that I use. And if you have any questions on that, just uh, let me know. Just let me know. Hit me up on Twitter. And also, we also have seven spots open for this MLB The Show tournament. We'd like to fill a full 16-man team. That is starting this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want in. Let me know what team you want by tweeting me at GrandSlam87 or message me on PlayStation at GrandSlam87. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you on the next one. Have a good one.